Many, 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 
Mimi mata fuisem, me finisi a mama pre. Eviani ana jo, ayrewa na miji. Eja me chichi ya chichi ya chichi ya mi nyobwa funa me usewa. Akuna mbwa funiwa, mi ne wona mwa mi sroji. Emo ire free mi o, u chichi bi nuswa ya kami o.
welcome everyone. All is well that ends well. It appears we are starting late, but do not talk. That error from the beginning, unfortunately, at the second post taken, the institution occurred. And for that matter, people are still circling around and be get, getting calls while I was on the FDR drive and it's choked. It's Friday afternoon and New Yorkers understand that. So I apologize to all of you for coming in early and staying here until I, get, I got here. And for all those of you who were calling me to remind me you are getting late, the old mind was getting tired. It has been a terry one week and we have struggled through. We pray and seek the help of God so that we can withstand the pain and agony and anything that we intend to do. People of God, ladies and gentlemen, beloved friends of Mr. Six, Micklin, big head with thousand brains, the torch of gold. Mr. Fawun, what are some sober for? Mr. Director, who died and made you a director? I made a director of myself, and that is true. There are several names, friends, and loved ones who call him. Tonight or this evening, we will hear many of those names. This evening, we will try to emulate the language into two species. We will try to bring key language and as well as the English language. If someone came along with you and the person does not speak our local language, do me a favor and be a translator. And if you're not going to be a translator, just sit quiet and do not talk. Just listen to the programs. Everything's been running there. The programs just got here. When you get one, please take your time and follow through with us. Thank you. And we are nominate a doctor, a Shiaha, Medicai, Edna, Abusia, and Nemo at the Munasi. Medicai, Namada Masi, Midna, Trafo, and Nema, and Nemo. Midna, Abusia, and Nemo, and we are nominate of us for any number of Papa on war of Buchimanga. Anyone it is a very important thing to do. 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 It is a very to do. It is a very important thing to do. It is a to in my country, I have to say that I have to 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 the family has requested. We have contracted someone to do videotaping and still pictures. We do not allow anyone with a camera to take any picture of the deceased. You may ask me what? Mr. Sian is being taken home for burial. 
The one week celebration has not occurred in Ghana as yet. The moment we pass, the news blew in Ghana when we have not even picked up the phone to call no one. And we do not want to emulate or do the same triangle with his body. Before they get to Ghana, before we get to Ghana, the media will have his picture and the process will be all over in the country before the one we celebrate. So if you're going to ask me why we cannot take pictures, that is the reason. It's a golden key, and I believe that everyone here will abide by that regulation. It's very important to me. Please bear with us, because that's what the family wants to do. Midamasi. Sabri Moron, Lijai, Juma, Idikain, and they are said, Sophomisa, or Mudosu, and Eba. Maya Mutia Moron, Sophomisa Eba, or Muba, Moya Musa, or Mubosaka, the Papa Nigga Mamma.
response to what I'm about to say will be, and with your spirit. May the God of hope give you the fullness of peace. And may the Lord of life be always with you. And with your spirit. So dear us in Christ, we have gathered here once again to pray for our Father. We believe that all the ties of friendship and affection which knit us as one throughout our lives do not unravel with death. Confident that God always remembers the good we have done and forgives our sins, let us pray, asking God to gather Michael Yom Insian to himself. Let us pray. Lord our God, the death of our brother, our father, our husband, our friend, our everything, thank you, your Isia, recalls our human condition and the brevity of our lives on earth. But for those who believe in your love, death is not the end, nor does it destroy the bonds that you forge in our lives. We share the faith of your son's disciple and the hope of the children of God. We humbly ask you to bring the light of Christ's resurrection to this time of testing and pain as we pray for your son Michael Yao Insia and for those who love him, wife, children, family, friends. May your son Jesus Christ be our consolation, just as he consoled Martha and Mary at the loss of their brother Lazarus. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Shall we be seated? From Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1 to 11. It says, no one can determine the right time to act, and a time for every affair under the heavens. A time to plant, a time to uproot the plant, a time to tear down, and a time to build. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to embrace, and a time to be far from embraces. A time to keep, and a time to cast away. There is an appointed time for everything. A time to give birth and a time to die. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to seek and a time to lose. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time of war and a time of peace. A time of love and a time to hate. What profit have workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to mortals to be busy, to be busy about. God has made everything appropriate in his time, but has put the timeless into their hearts so they cannot find out from beginning to end the work which God has done. That ends the first reading. Thank you. Amen. Our response is going to be signed. Actually, it's going to be recited, but then the response is going to be in three. So uh, I will go through that with you.
to my cry for mercy. According to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The parable of the ten virgins. Then the kingdom of heaven would be like ten virgins who took the alarms and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them. But the wise brought flasks of oil with the lamps. Since the bridegroom was long, in, was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry. 
Behold the bridegroom, come out and meet him. Then all the virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and for you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they were off to buy, to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the, the door was, was locked. Afterwards, the virgins, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open for us. But he said to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know not the day, nor the hour. The gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. I will be seated. The vigil service is usually very, very brief. And this is a day that none of us expected. This is the, a gathering that none of us would wish are taking place. Again, Sandy, you've been here. You didn't know she had not a year. Maybe just you said, or for you see, I would drop or whatever. Ginny And now you say, David can sing me, and you may young kind, Psalm 27. Or say, a rabbin in the high in a wine and a minstrel. No curd renew, I'll say, and dear back. And I Ecclesiastes would be three more, you cannot or send Now, Papa, now a tree or send Cafon. But once the tree, a baby son. And now say, the other send Cafon at Tono, or one year day, a baby son so at Tono. Now, Papa, my or him Solomon. The man who wrote Ecclesiastes that we read tonight is the same man to whom is attributed the book of Proverbs. Now, I can for your castle be a say, Obanyan Safo. Now, only say, Obanyan Safo, ye bunna bet. Me wish them no. Now, 
yen kana sem osem kafono no shenan so entibia si a ye wey o hen so o mon ye nyina nyim no so se o hen so o mon bo bra o o hen so o mon ye se se ni pa nya bia o nya bi ye se se ni pa hunu bia o hen so o mon no bi Near Berry Messiswa, of your chassis, near Sabaka Bia, and Sakai. Papa Solomon, Homa, no tea, but I'm fooling around with the one in our soap. In T Solomon, better than your son, not with him to Paco, the Papa Common. It's a Padia, this way, you know, when you're in T Solomon, to let your son was it. Mede ba meko na ibedi sika udi yenzo Solomon yese na ne yere no miye ahasa ne mpra no miye ahenzo minim be ma wohe ya wohe challenger no challenger mbe biye ni haya wohe Solomon challenger. Na ni fie no kwa ni mono as his years advanced, he began to think and to scout, and to examine life. The unexamined life is not worth living, says the wise man. He began to weigh and to value life. What does it mean to live this project called life? Abraba ye boy ni tire na gra ene de ene de ene de hen wo sha se se o buta me busem ama banyansafo ye bune be nti wona wo ye anyansafo e wo wiase no me buta me busem ama wo na de wo bune ba wonte no ye ne ye buye ba ye nte no Solomon <laughs> A woman, there is time for everything. Do not live your life as if you have eternity here on earth. You don't. Third night is talking wisdom to us. When you make a sign, you have to go to the oil source. We don't speak only by words, but we also speak by our action and by our life. As a Jensen lies there, Mr. Six lies there, Mr. Six is six feet. If that doesn't say anything to us, to us I don't know what else would say anything to us. There is more to life then we make it to be Abrabo, Imudru, Nipansu, and Mwemiko. And then Tina David said, At the end of the day, I'm going to say, 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 One thing I seek, is to be in the house of the Lord and to contemplate his beauty and his loveliness. Face to face. Or Kunkuni no enemy. Now, what no, no, 
a book and him and him face to face, and that is what I commend for all of us. Can be some of the best of the moon in our system of if you say, buy a bay a tree of a Siena Brabba, Nensano, or the Atro, Nabrabono, a dear good in Ayakomas. Everyone who is here has something indelibly marked on our hearts from him. And that's what brings us here. He has inscribed his life into each one of us. And that inscription is indelible. It's eternal. And you can see a little bit here. A throne where you come as. The throne is so. Uma Yesu, Yesu kura na chile se yeno no. Se Yesu ane chile se. Ofa Yesu ya 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 di wanyo ma ya mi ya ni anso. Na Yesu na ya mi ya ni se shwe papa no a o sen a simi anso. Na o sulfi a ufu. Na o nuni mu a na ofa Yesu ya di nichi di a she. A nuni na uruma ya so for your you. Indeed, Midnight. If you are hard in some midnight, now can you do it? And I do me a new thing. It is the thickest of all darkness. Midnight darkness. Now I have thrown sober. Now I honor. Who can you do? May that never happen to you. A man in two. A master soon. A new acquaintance fee. Alpha Christa is on the road. Papa, my friend Jesus, I'm a Swamo. The master knew where we are. Yapa America, Western world now rejects God. And David says that the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. You don't live your life, your life as if there is no God. Only a fool does that, says David. In the scriptures. And that's why there are ten wise virgins. And there are ten, there are, there are five wise virgins and five foolish virgins. But you are not all praying in a or bread your men, your men, your men, or no one and quantia, and you need pay a day and you need to pay a Let me say that again. Qua Yacobina and the set, maybe ma when your men, when your men, and quantia, maybe money pay a day and you need to pay a quantia. What do you see one? Yacobia, what do you see in China? Yacobia, a yamata. Glory of God in our own salvation. The betterment of human life and the salvation of all souls. That's why we are here. And the wise resume their lives. And one thing that he always did for us. If you go to him, say, Oh, Father John, come and see me at a hotel. And when you go, you ask. How much do you have so that I can top up for you to continue building the church? And that was the first question he ever asked me. How much do you have? On this day that we offer this solemn celebration for him, all of us are going to contribute something on his behalf so that the priest will come here 
will continue to offer masses for him. We are going to use this amount of money to offer countless masses for him in our respective parishes. So as the organists give us some song, please contribute my uncles.
Shall we stand? Shall we stand? Our response to this prayer will be, Lord, hear our mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. That will be our response. Let us turn to Christ Jesus with confidence and faith in the power of his cross and resurrection. Risen Lord, pardon of our life forever. Lord, have mercy. Shall we respond, Lord, have mercy. Promise an image of what we shall be. Lord, have mercy. Son of God, who came to destroy sin and death. Lord, have mercy. Word of God, who delivered us from the fear of death. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Crucified Lord, forsaken in death, raised in glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, gentle shepherd, who bring rest to our souls. Give peace to my kill. Yam in Siam forever. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bless those who mourn and in pain. Bless Michael, your Vincius family and friends who gather around him today. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Brothers and sisters, our true home is heaven. Therefore, let us pray to our Heavenly Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, our Redeemer, our Chief Shepherd, and our guidance. You willingly gave yourself up to death so that all might be saved and pass from death to life. We humbly ask you to comfort your servant in their grief and to receive Michael Yao Insian into the arms of your mercy. You alone are the Holy One. You are mercy itself. By dying, you unlock the gates of life for those who believe in you. Forgive Michael, Yahweh, his sins, and grant him a place of happiness, light, and peace in the kingdom of your glory. We pray for Linda, his wife. Continue to be with her at this time of difficulties. We commit all his children, grandchildren, his loved ones and friends. Lord, be with them and strengthen them in this time of difficulty. Jesus, our counselor, console them. And we make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns in here in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. So um, I'll give the final blessing then the ocean penny will tell us what to do. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in your peace and may Michael, your insane, enjoy the glory that you have promised your disciples. And may the Almighty God bless you, for the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound.
Christ. The last page, the last page. To our most great. songs and while we do that we'll come back to the original program again so I'm gonna give you give you some songs and again the family insists with all due respect if you are videotaping anything and you have not been assigned to do that please cut it off if you are holding a camera or a cell phone camera and you intend to take a picture of the deceased, please, I'm begging you, do not do that. If I find you, I will never find you again. <laughs> take that into consideration. That means simply put, your phone will be seized and you will also be seized. And ask me where I will put you. You don't want to know. Period. So stop and just obey the regulations. A gentleman was asked, do not turn the examination booklet upside down. He is taking his last examination to give him the permission to become a pharmacist. And the examiner said, do not take the exam paper and turn it upside down. Simple question, simple instructions. He studied for six years to become pharmacist. And he quickly went like this and flipped it. She said, out. We cannot take that as a nation. Is that fair? I think it's fair. Obey regulations and instructions. Do not take pictures. You say, I will. I'll capture your camera and I'll destroy it, period. Thank you so much. Let's have some fun.
Yeah.
Tech. Take that seat now. Thank you so much for your attention. At this hour and at this moment, we will continue the program until we finish and then we will move it down to the next call. Please be seated. Take your seats now. Thank you. Please can we have to decide this? It's very important. Take your seats and let us continue the program. Can we have some silence, please? At this point, let me call my daughter to read. Melissa? Yes, the obituary of Mr. Six Knight is here. Otherwise, we will not hear in the face. I beg your pardon. Thank you so much. Good evening. Mr. Michael Insiachima was born on August 19th. Thank you. I'll run it back. Close the door, please. Thank you so much. I'm not surprised that there's so much energy in the room because my dad brings energy. So I'm honestly not surprised, but let me get through the obituary. So Michael Nsiyajima was born on August 19th, 1948 in a quaint village called Ayanisu in Kumase. From an early age, he showed a determination and resilience that would shape his entire life. His childhood was filled with stories of hard work, sacrifice, and the importance of family and community. As a young man, Michael embraced the responsibilities of adulthood with grace and dedication. After Form 4, Michael served as a people's teacher where he gained a scholarship to attend a teacher's training college at Dupasse. A stickler for education, he continued on to the United Kingdom where he attended nursing college and obtained a degree in nursing psychology. While working full-time as a nurse at St. Albans Hospital, Michael went on to receive a degree in economics from Ealing College in London. He worked tirelessly as a teacher, nurse, and small business owner to provide for his family, always putting others' needs before his own. While in London, Michael met the love of his life, Linda, and the two decided to begin a new life together in New York. Michael and Linda worked tirelessly together and established several businesses, eventually moving back to Ghana to establish Micklin Hotels. The word Micklin is coined from Mike and Linda, and that just shows you a little bit about how romantic Daddy was. His unwavering commitment to his work and his steadfast love for his family were truly inspiring. A loving husband, a devoted father to his six children, eldest Frank Nsianjima, Peter Nsianjima, Madeline Nsianjima, Michael Nsianjima Jr., Melissa Nsianjima, and Yvette Nsianjima, and a very doting grandfather to his 10 grandchildren. He cherished every moment spent with his loved ones, creating memories that will forever be etched in our hearts. Beyond his professional and family life, Michael was a pillar of strength and support for the community and the church. A firm Catholic, Michael would never miss a Sunday at church. And God himself help you if you made him late for church at Christ the King. One of his final and proudest achievements was establishing St. Anthony's Catholic Church in his hometown in Yenisu in February of 2023. Mike's outstanding work for the church over the years gave him the honor of Sir Knighthood bestowed upon him by Pope Francis. One of the things that made Sir Knight Michael and Sianchema truly special 
was his ability to make everyone around him feel valued and loved. His infectious laughter, his warm smile, and his genuine interest in others made him a magnet for friendship. He had a way of making everyone feel seen and heard, and his presence brightened any room he walked into. As we bid farewell today, there's a profound sense of loss, but we cannot deny this deep sense of gratitude for the time that we had together, for the love that he showered upon us, and for the lessons that he taught us. His legacy will live on through the memories we hold dear and the values that he instilled in us. Rest in peace to our brother, our father, and friend. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've got the courage. You took all the papers, so bring mine. <coughs> Thank you. And now we will have a tribute from his beloved wife, the woman who has become the pillar of the family, the woman who knows what to tell him to come, his nerves down, the woman through her that has been a virtue of successes in his life. They do not part each other in a minute, and we thank the Lord for that through his own diverse means, at least we have to live together for this long. Ladies and gentlemen, let us hear the tribute from his beloved wife. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. before you with a heavy heart, filled with sorrow and gratitude. Through my words, may, though my words may flutter, I am compelled to express the profound love and admiration I hold for the incredible man who was my husband. To me, he was not just a husband, but my best friend, confidant and a soulmate. From the moment we met, our life intertwined, and we embarked on a journey filled with love laughter and unweaving support. He was my rock upon which I lay, the guiding light that illuminates my path and the source of my strength that carries me through life's challenges. His love was a beacon that shines brightly, illuminating the dark corners of my world. With him, I experienced a love that was pure, unconditional and everlasting. He taught me true meaning of partnership, showing me what is meant to be cherished and valued. He devoted his devotion and commitment to our marriage was a testament to his character and the depth of his love. My husband possessed a real combination of kindness, compassion, and empathy. He had an innate ability to make everyone around him feel seen, heard, and loved. His warm smile, gentle touch, and genuine interest in others' life left, an, left a mark on all who had the privilege of knowing him. He had a way of making people feel important as if their presence in his life truly mattered. He was a man of integrity, honor, and unbewived principle. His unbewived morals compels Compress guide him through life, and he always stood for what he believed was right. He was a pillar of strength, not only for me, but for our family and friends. His wisdom and guidance was sought after and cherished by all who, who knew him. As I reflect on the beautiful memories we shared, I am reminded of his infectious laughter his zest for life, and his ability to find joy in the simplest of moments. He had a way of turning ordinary days into extraordinary ones, 
and his presence brought a sense of warmth and comfort to all, to any room he entered. Today, as we say our goodbyes, I'm comforted by the knowledge that his spirit will forever live in our hearts. Though his physical presence may, not, may be gone, his love and legacy will continue to guide and inspire us. I am intensely grateful for the time we had together and I will carry his memories with me. Cherish the love we shared until we meet again. My dear husband, thanks for being my rock, my anchor, my everything. You have left an indible, you have left a, a mark on my soul and I'm forever changed because of you. Respectfully, respect, peaceful, knowing that your love will forever be is it in my heart? Until you meet again, Yao, my love, with all my love, Linda Abne Busan. What a beautiful piece. The Lord will be with you. Mami Abina Adisa. Stay strong. We continue with the children. All the six put their minds together and they thought that Daddy had done seven things individually for them. And yet, when they combined everything together, their mind sounds onto one basket. And now they want to pour their heart out to their daddy. Let us hear from the children. Michael Jr., all of you, stand by him. strength, our Father's caring nature, was a beacon that illuminated our lives. His kindness knew no bounds, and he had an innate ability to make everyone feel cherished and valued. He possessed a unique gift of empathy, a quality that radiated from every action and word, leaving a lasting impact on the fortunate enough to cross his path. He was unyielding in his dedication to education and morals instilling in each of his children a passion for learning and unwavering commitment to ethical principles. His guidance was a steady hand that shaped our character, emphasizing the importance of integrity, honesty, and compassion in all aspects of life. Our father's legacy as a businessman was not only a one of success, but also one of ethics and fairness. He navigated the world of commerce with a strong moral compass Proving, a, proving that success need not compromise one's principles. His business acumen was matched only by his commitment to justice and his determination to create a world where everyone could thrive. As we bid farewell to a loving father, a strict yet gentle guide, a just businessman, an influential figure, and a source of endless laughter, we take solace in the knowledge that his spirit lives on with us. <coughs> the values he instilled, the lessons he taught, and the love he shared with, will forever be a part of us, and a living tribute to a life well lived. Rest in peace, dear Father, knowing that your legacy is etched not only in our memories, but also in the lives he touched. Your light will continue to shine through us as we carry forward the lessons you imparted and the love you gave so abundantly. Mr. Ancien, you will forever be missed in our hearts. Thank you. Through our journey together, you have been my rock, my confidant, and my biggest cheerleader. You have always pushed me to do better. You have always encouraged me 
to make diverse changes to my life, I've always accepted your suggestions. They have always worked for me. Oniapa, Danfuka, God bless you. God keep you in the bosom of our father Abraham. As you continue to meet your maker, do not forget, continue to sing the, the song. Tell me why. I'm not a Catholic, but I love your song. Tell me why. When God leads you, and how, when God talks to you, and how, when God shows you the way, you do not fail. That is what makes you successful a business person. In conclusion, to my best friend, West cannot fully express the depth and the gratitude for your presence in my life. You have been my guiding light, and my confidant, my partner in crime. Your unwavering, un unwavering friendship has been a source of my comfort. And therefore, I salute you, Sir Michael. Goodbye forever. We like to say a few things about. I used to call him offer. That's what he asked me that I should say. John, what me offer? So call me offer. I met um, Offer Yawinsian in the year 2014 when I was sent to Enyinesu to go and work as the parish priest. So it was Father Bafo who took me to. Mikling Hotel in Kumase. And he told this me to him that I'm the new priest going to Enginesu to work. So he told me, John, me see my sword. So I'll call my sword and I'll get to us. You're very fine, pal. Now, so I'll call one to us, dear. And he knew if he building my church and all that I ask of you is to help if you help I will help you if not then I have nothing to do with you and that's what exactly I went there to do when I went there they were building the church they had just made a foundation and he supported us in everything money ideas he will call me come and I will go but the only problem I had with him was that he always say, so for the song first kind of So the first time he said that, I told him of I will come one day for us to discuss this. He said, come on here. Even though you say, Father, do you yes, and yet you will give me money for fuel. <laughs> and I said, you say I don't need money, yet you are giving me money for food. And then the time I encountered him, Accra Kumase, he gives me money for food. And that was joyful because um, sometimes you'll be at a place that 
financially is not all that okay. Uh, this, early this year, I was with him January in Accra, and when the bishop told me that he would be bringing me to U.S., I don't even mention it to my father, but he was the first one I mentioned to. I, I went to the hotel and I told him. So he would call in and ask how things were moving on. And when he came here, he called me, Masa, Naben Aoba. And I told him, oh, if I will be arriving around 5th July. So when I came in, I called him. Now I want to come and say hello to you. I said, no, I will come and welcome you. And unfortunately, he never came. I stand here to say that he did not only take care of the church, he took care of the priest. And even before I left Ghana, he has given me cassock material that I should go and sew new cassock. He has given a, a, a whole material to me. He helped us. And when I had issues, when I had problems, I would go to him, sit with him, and ask for his kind wisdom. And one thing he told me I never forgot, there was an issue that I was so versed. And when I mentioned it to him, he said that, and so what? And so what? And so what? And I kept that saying, and so what? Any move I want to take, I'll ask myself, and so what? If I become so annoyed of people, i ask myself, and so what? And that and so hard became my task. When Cheryl now invite my boss, Reverend Father Bafo, we are very Reverend Father Bafo, to ask something from the diocese. Shall we clap for you? So, Father John Goma, thank you very much. I met our brother McLean and the wife 28 years ago in a, in a soup. At that time, I was the parish priest at Boamai, and in a soup was the outstation. So that's how I met them. The righteous die early, but their good deeds live behind them and do not die. There is a writer who said, living is dying. To be born is to begin to die. Each time I breathe, I die a little. You all agree with me that today's gathering or celebration, if you like, stirs up memory, sadness, absence, and loss for what was and what could have been. Martin Luther Jr. said the ultimate measure of a person is not where that person stands in moment of comfort and convenience, but where that person stands in time of challenge and controversy. Today, the question that almost everybody is asking is why, why, why? The why of life has never, be, never been answered. But in times like this, we all ask why. In the picture of Job, it says something. Man comes to this world like a flower and fades away. He flees like a shadow and does not continue. My dear of God, if you have in mind that it really does not matter when we die or where we die, but it does matter how we die. For upon that, the whole of our eternity rests. <coughs> the last uh, Michael Yawinsia was a man after God's heart. We all agree with me. He was forgiven. He found his happiness in giving. 
when he gives, and then he's happy. I'm saying it's because so, as he's here, he's still giving. He was courageous. All his plans were made on the basis of hereafter. He was not thinking about this planet in actual sense, but hereafter. And he was at peace with God. And even now, he is at peace with God. Amen. He grew rich in the sight of God. And one point is clear. He did not forget where his blessings came from. Never, never. He did not forget. And I'll take you to the book of Joshua, chapter 24, verse 32. Joseph died in Egypt. But the Israelites didn't want to marry him. So Joseph's bones were carried from Egypt to Shechem. That was the place where Jacob bought a land. And that was the place where Joseph was buried. If you get the chance, you do similar. My dear Prof. God, to make the best use of our life, we must never forget one thing. Earth is only a temporary residence. You won't be here for long. And no matter what we possess or achieve or accomplish, it always leaves us looking for more. But the way that we cared for others will be remembered long after we have gone from this world. That is why our late brother Mike here, he had a slogan, but probably we didn't know. And he had that slogan from Ignatius of Loyola. Lord, teach me to give without counting the cost. That was his slogan. Lord, teach me to give without counting the cost. And our brother Michael had this slogan from Ignatius of Loyola. One point I would like to put before this assembly is, have we ever sat down to reflect on the final days of our lives? Do we reflect on that? Have in mind that life is short. And God has given us so much time in our lives. Time to change, time to make amendments, time to repent and time to accept our Lord Jesus Christ. The time that God has given us is not meant only for drinking or eating or dancing on. But God has given us time to make amendments, to change, to repent and to accept our Lord Jesus Christ. When you read the book of Kings, during the final days of David, he told his son Solomon certain words. Get to know God personally. As we've gathered here this evening, we are to learn from King David's words. Learn God's command. Discover what he wants you to do. Worship God wholeheartedly. These are the words that King David told his son Solomon during his final days. My dear Pope of God, Jesus coming is not a matter of if, but a matter of when. If he comes, I'll repent. If he comes, I'll go to church. If he comes, I'll do this. So his coming is not a matter of if, but of when. In a very real sense, every hour, every moment, every day, every week, it's an hour or the time of Jesus' coming. Every moment. But at times we forget that the day of reckoning must come. 
we entirely forget. So I'm standing here this afternoon or this evening to thank God for giving us such a wonderful man like Mike. As I said, I experienced him 28 years ago. We built the cathedral at Mampong and he did a lot to help the church. Priests, seminarians, old men and old women, kids, elderly, kings, friends, he did a lot to help people. So today, as we gather, let's pray for him. And you also, we are to pray for ourselves. So at the end of it all, God's name will be glorified. Amen. May God bless us, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, Reverend Father, but for the way for such a powerful way. The second phase will be coming up shortly. And when we have gone through benedictions, and that will be conducted by fathers, these are the instructions. When it's time to leave, you go to the lobby, just keep standing for a bit, and five minutes somebody will walk you to where you must go. This exit is closed. Do not go out from here going through those two doors. I need all of us to exit this way. And do not go here, just exit and stay in the lobby. I have 15 women who will come out and spoke, or watch, I mean, walk you through. We're going to sit down, we're going to have a reception and be thankful and we're going to enjoy celebrating the life of my dear friend. At this point, Sir Michael will be going home sometime next week. The families will go. This is the agenda. November 7th will be his one week. So for those of you who are... So, September 7th. I'm sorry, I'm taking a bunch. September 7th is the one week. So tell your families in Ghana. And then we will also publish the information while we are here. Subsequent information will come after that date. At that time, those who have been contracted to do relief are to take the pictures and videotape and record what has happened here today will have the right to expose the information on the website and the internet because it is happening in Ghana. We did not want to take advantage and do what we have done today and post it out into the internet when Ghana has not done their part. So that was the idea. We are asking people do not take pictures because there was a lot of streaming going on. And there was also still pictures being put onto the internet. Social medias, they kill you. At this point, let's just have a couple of songs and then we go to benediction. Thank you.
my son in law, Akro Five. You are the best. Say, you are the best. Madam, thank you so much. So powerful. I appreciate that. Ladies and gentlemen, I left, I left one most important tribute. And if I don't do that, trust me, don't kill me when we go home. A family is a source of light. All the things we are doing here today belongs to the family of Sir Mike. So I believe that it is deemed necessary that we also have a tribute from the family. I invite my daughter Ellen to read the tribute for the family. Thank you. sitting there outside with his entourage, <laughs> drinking his wine, and smiling and laughing. And when he saw me, that smile, that welcome that he gives you when he sees you, just makes you feel so special. And he said, I'm my come sit down. And I sat with the entourage, and we all laughed. And for whatever reason, I've called him Uncle Mike my whole life. But that day, he decided to question me why I called him Uncle Mike. He said, I will cry to my own friend, Uncle Mike. My own friend. And so he spent 15 good minutes talking and educating me about the family dynamics and who's who in our family. And I listened. Because when Uncle Mike speaks, you listen. It's just that simple. I really wanted to say, Nana, I know all this. You've told me a hundred times. But I shut up and I listened. And he went on and on and on. And when he finished, I purposely waited for five minutes, turned to him and called him Uncle Mike again. <laughs> and he looked at me and said, well, hey, we have a lot of money. And we all laughed. And that was what Uncle Mike was like. He turned into everything into a joke. Everything is funny. He made everyone feel special. There's been a lot of tributes already today, so I'm not going to stand here. I wrote a long tribute, but I'm not going to read it. Because everything that needs to be said has been said. We get it. We all understand. He was a great man. He was excellent. He was passionate. He was a magnet. Everyone drew to him. And so I am going to give the tribute from our family to you with a special guest. Now I'm going to take one minute to talk about this guest. Her name is Victoria Safra. When I went to Ghana, this lady was amazing. She does so much for the needy and people who don't have it in Ghana. And she invited my husband and I to follow her to a village. And initially I was like, a village? And tum tum and lights off. I'm not going. But something said, go. And so we followed her to the village. 
It was a four or five hour drive, deep, deep, deep into the village. I had never seen parts of Ghana like this before because we are lucky and we're blessed and when we come, we stay in the nice areas. And when we went, we saw children that had no food, nothing to wear, barefoot, things that we take for granted. That's what this lady does. And so it's so special and it means a lot that she's here because she resembles and she stands for what my grandpa stood for. And so I give to you Victoria Safi. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Benia Bray. He said, Minya Ben me would die. About two months ago. I have a big restaurant in Ghana. Now, because we were in my office, no, of was one of my workers and said, My friend, I'm going to pay you four pounds back for a month. And she asked my officer, I said, Do you know what be a Juma when I'm a smarter? I was a Ghana, they would be a Juma. Now, I'm a Maui, I'm a Tina. Ghana for the more Juma. No, why have I seen it? I mean, sure. The way I was seeing, and I was meeting him about buying. Why are you trying to do so? I said, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. That the way I come for me, now I'm praising me, what my mom was saying, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be a musician. I said, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. I want to encourage you this. No matter what you're going through, it is well with your soul. When you don't know what to do, it is well with your soul. Amen. When peace, like a river, I tend and my way. Why so?
today, you came again in Brooklyn. You are fabulous. Just like uh, I don't know if you can see you are We are about to finish the program and I'd like to also say that again. Do not tell me to move. We're going to be here until midnight. Or until we say no, we want to go home. From here, we're going to exit through this door. We go back to the hotel. We will take you to another room. There are seats waiting for you. There are drinks waiting for you. There's little bit of cricket, cut practice over here. Help us out. Enjoy the day. So I've been here for a long time. I do not want to see you. At this time, there's one person that I left when I was making the introduction. And I'd like to do that now before we do most of times. There is a very best friend of Sir Mike. He's from Yanfo. And they've been together for a long, long, long time. They fight. They laugh together. Nobody settles their problems when they fight. But they will come back two hours later as nothing has ever happened between them. He is no other than Nana Yao Bona from Yao. Nana, can we see you? Thank you so much for your relationship with Sir Mike. You guys will fight, and I've seen you fight. <laughs> and then the following day, we all sit and drink our wine and eat together. And like you will not look down and say, I saw you to say, I take your advice and I move on. And I run with the advice and it worked for me. Father who has really ushered us in today, bless us today, give us the courage to be together and ponder over why. But we will think about why and why and why and we will never come with answers. Because God knows what is best for us. For Sir Mark to depart from life, it is a gratitude that God needs him home, where he has to do better things for his maker. So I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Father Jesus, for giving us this opportunity to celebrate the life of our loved one. Then let me also give reference and a big thank you to Reverend the very father, John Adu Adi Guama. Can we show an applause for this? <laughs> Let us also thank the very Reverend Father Paul Bafo Ewia. <laughs> and very Reverend Father John Techi. <laughs> and Father Nana Kun Fathers, we thank you so much for all that you do for the community, the society, and particularly Ghanaians. May the Lord richly bless you, continue to give you more anointing, continue to help you to read the Bible every day so we can also be a bless from you. Thank you. And to you, the people that came today, what should I tell you? So Mike may not have met all of you, but to somehow some connection, some family members, you have come. You have shown your support, you have shown your love. For the past one week, if we can count the calls, the condolences, the show up face to face encounters with us in our home, trust me, we know he lived a very beautiful life. And so we thank you very, very, very much for coming. There will be no more funeral in the States. This is our funeral. This is our one week. Everything is going to be done in Ghana. However, if you enter that hall and something touches your heart and you want to give anything in donations or in kind, please do. Because maybe you wish. People have asked me and I've told them there will be time for that. This is the time. So if you want to do that, nothing stops you. 
We are not asking you to kill you to come do it. But if you want to do it, please do so accordingly. And I sincerely thank you very much for now being here today. Yes. I also want to thank Aunt Linda, that's how I've been calling you since time in warrior, for being there for our dear brother Michael. I remember during his lifetime, when we went to a Nisho, we come and cook for us. So you have done a lot, and it is my prayer that you continue. With your own strength, you cannot do. But with God, you can continue. So when you go to Ghana, no, I'm not from Nisho, but I invite you to Nisho. The reason that you are going to cook for us, you are going to embrace us, you are going to console us, you are going to do a lot for us as you have been doing. It doesn't mean Michael is gone, so everything is over. That shouldn't be. And with prayers, we can continue. So at the moment, uh, we are going to pray for you. I don't know about I don't know about I don't know about it. Accept it and sanctify it in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Oh, 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 oh,
Yeah. 